inscrutable by choice magoa was generous and lovable a lot welcome back to tlg media and of course this is your number one online channel that brings you all the trending news update according to the saturday standard a magazine described the former education cs who died this week was an enigmatic former study a standard writer Masi orengo recalls our interaction with him the first time i heard of the word inscrutable i was on a phone call with professor george magua he used to he used it in an attempt to describe himself specifically why he never smiled or danced in public when i asked him what it meant he explained it was the ability to hide emotion so well that nobody can figure out what you are thinking he was he said he was inscrutable hard to read hard to interrupt hard to impress he liked it that way I was a features uh, I was a feature writer at Standard Group and was speaking with him several weeks after being appointed education cabinet secretary before the phone conversation I had desperately sought to do a profile on him to write about what made him who he was his childhood family life why he was always in a suite even in searching son and more importantly whenever he smiled i texted emailed called sent word through people who are close to him his response remained a firm no he did not want anyone to write his story especially about his private life i have one child one wife and i am a doctor can that fill a page he asked i tried to convince him that he did not have to talk about this personal life if he was not comfortable maybe we could talk about academia a subject he had openly said that he was passionate about he refused an opportunity to do a face-to-face -face interview finally came when i was doing a story on the shortcoming of competency based curriculum cbc i needed his comment i asked if he could meet he said he could slot me a maximum of an hour we met in in a ability by four midday i was prepared to meet into the unpleasant he had been off putting in our previous phone conversation so i expect i expected nothing less than a mini battle i am impatient with quick lung tank i knew it in an interview that the potential of going downfall is I found Professor Magoa straining blankly into space while he fiddling with a piece of yarn. Music was oozing from one of his computers. When I asked him about CBC, he said parents who were complaining about the many assignments they had to do with their children were absentee. Parents who were feeling cornered by the curriculum that required them to pay attention to what their children were doing in school. They would get used to it, in quote, he said. After I was done in my journalist version, I decided to try make luck again to pursue to the personal profile. I asked him why he never smiled. He pushed for a moment and asked he posted the story for a moment and I asked how important the answer was to my story. I said it was very important. He told me it was strategy. He said people would laughed and smiled harmlessly. In quote, I'd never taken seriously. Those like him who always showed up in almost expansionist faces were left alone at work. I pushed my luck and asked him if he ever laughs in serious voice without cracking a smile. He said, yes, I laugh a lot. I started at it him. He did not laugh. I asked why he always wore a suit and how many suits he had in a flat voice. He said, in, black, in quotes, I am not doing a personal story with you. You, I have to meet my patience now and that's one of the recounts that uh, uh Masi orengo who used to work as saturday standard uh, story recalling uh, the late professor george magoa we will be keeping you more updated keep subscribing on the passions and fears of george magoa the next story Thank you for watching and of course if you want to look smart always visit online in all social media platform moonlight impress thank you for watching let's meet to the next video my name is omache bye bye mm -hmm.